Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing the Superstay 24 hour Maybelline foundation. I've heard a lot about this foundation so I decided to go out and buy it for myself to test and show you guys how I feel about it. I hope it does last me all day. Let's get into the video. So I've already primed my face with the Revolution Primer Spray. So to apply this foundation I'm going to be using a beauty blender. Just using one pump. Just bouncing that into my skin. At the moment it's quite orange. It blends really easily. I would pick a lighter shade than you normally would. So it has come across quite orange. On camera it does look quite patchy I feel, like especially long hair. Now I'm going to be trying out the Revolution. At the moment I do use Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and Collection Concealer so hopefully these will go down just as well as they do. This concealer is already blending out really nicely. It's not a hard one to blend out. So that's the concealer done. It is a very good coverage concealer. This foundation and concealer they both show up on your face so really well like it's obvious you wear makeup so if you didn't want to go for an obvious look I wouldn't really pick these because I'm quite tanned already I'm just going to go in with my Hoola bronzer and just bronze up my cheeks a little when you apply this bronzer onto this foundation it does cling quite easy and get attached I'm going to go in with my Revolution Stroh palette. I feel like Revolution highlighters are like the best out there honestly. Everyone raves so much about them. They have definitely improved over the years. At the moment I do look really orange off camera and I'm a bit worried that I'm just going to look ridiculous but we can always find out after I do my eyebrows and eyeshadows because it might go a bit better. I'm going to go in with my cab brow and just do my eyebrows. So that's eyebrows done. I'm going to be using Fierce as Fire palette. So I'm going to go in with this lighter pink shade, these two in the crease and then finish it off with a glittery pink. So that's my eyeshadow done. I'm now going to go on to doing some eyeliner and then applying full size. So that's my eyes, eyebrows and eyelashes done. For this I used these ones. Um, they only cost me a pound. They weren't even on sale, they were from Superdrug so I was really impressed and I like the way they look. For lipstick, I don't have a lot of lipsticks but I think I'm going to be using my NYX. i be using this one today. Before I was saying this foundation looked very orange it still looks orange but with my whole face on like the eyes and eyebrows and lipstick it kind of makes it look a bit more less orange in a way because I've got my face on it it looks like I'm going to be that way so that's so much better. I think it kind of goes a bit blotchy because it's bringing out quite a lot of my like dry spots and stuff but not too bad hopefully it lasts quite a while. The colour is 44 and I should have probably gone for I think the colour sand that might have worked a little bit better. I was debating whether to get this one or that one but I usually go for darker foundations but I think it oxidised a little bit. Not too bad so that's fine. So the time is three o'clock. This has now been on for about six hours. It has lasted quite well. 
I'm not that orange as I was. It has gone quite patchy. I don't know whether it's because I put bronzer on top of it, but as you can see, it's kind of patched here. You can kind of see where it's coming through a little bit oily and up in my T-zone as well because I have been doing quite a bit of walking but overall it has lasted me quite well it's not a bad foundation I don't think it's the best idea to walk so far and so much when you've got quite a bit of foundation on and plus it was raining earlier on and very windy I will definitely be using this foundation more often I might be mixing it with my Naked Skin foundation because that's kind of a bit of a lighter tone which the reason why I did buy the Superstay foundation because I also wanted to like not run out of my naked skin because it is quite a lot 30 quid a bottle but it is really good the revolution concealer is quite good it has faded a little bit um, I recommend buy it I'll definitely be buying it more and the next shade I'll probably buy shade lighter because as I realized it did come up pretty dark and it did oxidize a little but once you've got your eyes on and your eyebrows it doesn't look too weird if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe and make sure you comment down below if you want to see anything else from me and see you next video bye